Well, you know, uh, when I asked my students the first thing that came to mind about, about your coverage, everybody said he's always there. <laughs> <laughs> he's always there. Uh, and I know people have some lifestyle questions they want to ask you about, so I don't want to sure. preempt that. But how do you see that all playing out in, in the mm -hmm. 2024 election? How, how much can you put into one story yeah. also? So I think the, the, the 2024 election is, look, I mean, I think if you just, if you, there's obviously three main things that we'll be looking at, obviously from the national level, uh, you know, obviously the, the presidential, the Senate, and the House. Um, I think that if you were to bet on where things are going to go, I would say that the House almost very, seems very likely to flip to the Democrats just because the way the map is and the way some of these key states are dealing with the redistricting fights in, like, in New York where there are, the Republicans are really in the majority in the House because of New York. They swept key New York districts, uh, and it was because of the way the lines were drawn that over a court fight that led to the Republicans in more favorable districts. They lost that. This has been battled in the courts. They have now lost that, and it looks like the Democrats are going to get more favorable lines because of that ongoing litigation. Uh, that could actually let, lead them back into the House majority in the next go-round. So they are favored there. So I would bet on that. I would bet on the Senate <clears throat> flipping as well. I think the Republicans have a very good chance of taking back the Senate. The map is very much in their favor right now. They really don't have many incumbents. They only have two who are potentially at risk, Ted Cruz and Rick Scott. Those are they're likely to be reelected given their states. And then you have red states like Montana, West Virginia, Ohio, which is an increasingly red state, all Democratic seats like could potentially flip, and all the Republicans have to do is pick up uh, two seats, one if they pick up the White House. So I bet on the Senate and being in Republican hands, House being in Democratic hands, but the price for the White House, I think, is just incredibly unpredictable. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with Trump's uh, indict indictments? What if he gets convicted? How does that play in a general election? Biden's age is an issue. Trump's age is an issue. Um, you know, what will, how will things play out in a general election environment? That, I think, is the most unpredictable of them all. So, you know, that being said, my predictions of the House and the Senate could be totally off as well. I, one thing as a journalist, you try not to get too much in the predicting business because you can get into trouble doing it. But if I'm talking to you guys, I can give you my, my, my prognostication. But um, the interesting thing for me will be to cover each of some of those big races in those battleground states on the congressional side, um, and which ties into kind of the, the national fight for control of Congress. Um, and then <clears throat> I'll dip into the presidential race, you know, but I'll try to stay away from it as much as possible. <laughs>